In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add starter content assets into Unreal Engine 5.6 or later. And starter content are a set of assets such as static meshes, textures, materials, blueprints that you were able to add into any project and use those assets to create with. And since 5.6, they have been discontinued and removed, very likely due to the rage and how outdated they were. So you can see if I launch 5.7 Unreal Project Browser and try to add starter content, I no longer have that little check mark to enable for any template. As well as inside existing projects, you no longer can go to add and add in starter content like you used to. However, you can still use starter content in 5.6 or later to create with. So here's how. First, you need a previous version of the engine, 5.5 or below. In my case, I have 5.3. Simply go ahead and launch the Unreal Engine Project Browser so you can create the project and include starter content. So as an example, go to Games or any other specific set of templates. Choose the game template that you want to create the project with, or you can choose blank. And then when you go through the project defaults, make sure you enable starter content. And then click Create. Alternatively, if you already have an existing project that's 5.5 or below, but don't have starter content inside that project, you could simply open that project up, then go to add, add feature content pack, go to content, and then add starter content. Because we're going to need these assets from an older Unreal Engine 5 version, so we can copy these assets into a new version. In my case, I already have an existing project, so I will simply use that. But in your case, once you go through creation project screen, have a project created and you've added starter content, come back to Epic Games Launcher and then simply right click on that existing project you just created and choose show in folder. Then navigate into the content folder of this project and then here's the starter content folder. This contains all the subfolders and all the assets for the starter content. All you need to do is simply copy this folder right here, starter content, copy it. And then you need to create another project using 5.6 or later. In my case, I have 5.7. So go ahead and launch that specific engine version, go to new projects and create a project that you want to work with. Again, it does not matter which one you create because none of them will have that sort of content available to you. So simply create a new project using any of these available templates. In my case, I already have 5.7 project created, so I will simply use this. But once you create a project, you will have a new thumbnail available underneath my projects for 5.6 version or later. And you just simply right click on it again and click show in folder. This places you inside your project directory and then you go inside the content folder and then paste the starter content that you copied from the previous version into this new Unreal Engine version. So simply right click in empty space and choose paste. This will copy over all the starter content. So the key to this is making sure that you place the starter content from the previous Unreal Engine version, which is also inside content folder, into an existing new project, into the content folder directory, and here's the starter content. Make sure that these match and that you have placed the starter content into the content folder of your new project, of 5.6 or later, and then simply launch that project. But this will also work if you already have that project open. Let me go ahead and launch this project so we can check. So with the project open, simply navigate inside the content browser to the starter content. And here are all your assets available in 5.6 or later. And just simply test them out. Let me go ahead and go to props. Or let's go to shapes. I'm going to drag in a cube. So that works. Let's go to materials. Maybe drag a material onto this cube. So that also works. And everything else inside the starter content will work. And you can now use these in 5.6 or later as you used to in previous UE5 versions.